And as you can see, I am giving it light little star brushes. I'm not like fully getting in there like you probably would before you go to a car meet or anything. I'm just trying to give it a little couple test wipes. Um, not put too much work into it. Like I said, this whole video took me probably about... And towards the end of the video, I did speed it up. But this was originally about a four minute video. Um, I now have a pressure washer setting. So just spray it on and pressure wash it off like everybody else. As you can see, I use the hose to wet it first. Um, right after that, I'll then be applying the actual brake bomber product itself. But these wheels were definitely pretty filthy. They did not look shiny at all. Um, they are pretty bad. But you'll see the transformation here shortly. This part coming up is sped up um, right after I get done spraying it. I'd have to move the camera in the little tripod, so sorry about the camera angles. But I did my best. I'm not gonna lie, you can kind of see the shit that can melt off. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy. That's right, the top layer. And as you can see, I am giving it light little star brushes. I'm not like fully getting in there like you probably would before you go to a car meet or anything. I'm just trying to give it a little couple test wipes. Um, not put too much work into it. Like I said, this whole video took me probably about like three minutes. So just a quick spray off if you're going to a meet. And obviously, if you take care of your wheels, they wouldn't be this caked on in the corners anyway. But here we go. I rinse it off and you would definitely see before and after how they looked. I do a little comparison to the rear wheel just to see. So, so you see how much, just so you can see how much shinier it is. The differences between them. The other wheel is definitely a lot more caked on still up front, so I'll probably see how that one goes as well, make another little follow-up video. But yeah, 